Today, I'm going to attempt to solve a common problem that plagues RVs, so don't go anywhere. Hi everybody, welcome to RV Life Swag. My name is Chad and I'm gonna tell you what my project is for today. What I plan on doing is tackling some of the dreaded mold and mildew. If you're an RVer, then you know moisture can be a big problem and sometimes it doesn't take long before you start seeing and even worse smelling the mold and the mildew. For a while now, I suspected that I might have something growing in my AC ducts. I'd catch a whiff of that musty odor and you know, I'd look around for it and I couldn't find anything. Recently though, I started to see this. The black buildup around my AC vents and my AC intake was a clear sign that I probably had some mold and mildew in my ductwork. Fortunately, this is the only place that I've seen it, so I'm going to work on getting that taken care of today. Now I looked online for some suggestions on how to do that, and there were basically two ways that I found. The first one was to hire a professional, which I'm not ready to do that yet. If I can do it myself, I'd prefer to do it that way. The other way was just to spray some kind of chemical that kills mold and mildew into the intake of your air conditioner. So at first that seems like a good idea, but when I thought about it, it dawned on me that if you're spraying a chemical in through the coil, it's going to be cold and it's going to condense that chemical. You could just run the fan without the compressor, you big dummy. So I don't know how much of that's really going to get into the duct work, so uh, that's why I decided to go this route. So here's my plan. I'm going to remove all the AC vents and intake covers. I'm going to wash those really good, get any mold and mildew off of those. Then I'm going to take an anti-mold and mildew chemical and spray it into the ductwork and cover that as best I can from where the vents were. Let's see how this works. So we'll wrap it up there for today. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you posted on how well that worked. If you would please do me a huge favor, like and subscribe below, you know what to do. And also check out www.rvlifeswag.com. We'll see you soon.